Sports. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. of last season. Give him three there on the first play of the game and it's second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Mariota now swings it out to the flat for Freeman and down right around the 32 yard line four yards on the pickup and we see another pitching catch there to the running back this position just continues to evolve they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They run Devontae Freeman. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Given three yards and a fresh set of downs. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into the Yeah, and Brady just climbed it. Brady just climbed it. And yeah, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is. Like that. Offense and defense, in this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Freeman again, first down carry. Oh, that's not a block in there, right? That's the second down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is... Like, this is a shoulder pad was slightly turned. That's how he called it. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's a run for Freeman. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle that time by Ronnie Harrison. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Two first downs, they get another here. First and ten at the 45. They toss to Freeman. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Yeah, Mosley's playing. He couldn't get the edge there. It wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally, because sometimes the defensive guys... They win the edge battle, and when they do that, there's no place for the running back to go, especially for offensive linemen trying to get out ahead. With their footwork and speed, it was negligible on that play. No gain at all for the offense. 
Looking to throw on second down. Mariota dancing to his left. And he slides to avoid the hit. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars. Took the first this year and then first and second next year. And then uh, the Dolphins send a, a fourth and a third and slits and the fourth and second. I can't remember. Down and, run for it. and he slides mm. down and avoids the hit for good measure. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and ten at the 41. Now it's Freeman. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Oh, there's No, he's not injured. He's right there. Okay, yeah, I do see the same thing. Wait, try to get On second down, Freeman. Yeah. Anything that and they will only like muster a Now we can't do that yet. Yeah. 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 That one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz? A good run blitz. The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. From the gun, Mariota. It's caught, Jones. They're able to convert. Oh, the third down. Uh, where's the corner on that side? They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. You know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. They'll run here with Freeman. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stock troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming out and put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight yard line. Again, it'll be Freeman. And he will maneuver his way no, down about not. the seven. And that will get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured no, Falcon on the field. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Oh, I just need Elderman and, and Collins not to go off because I'm up by 30 right now. So, and I need Le'Veon to go off. I'm only up 30, and he has Jamie Collins and Jews on his team. Southern Miss, Edo Smith, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. We've now seen three consecutive one-yard games, and it brings up fourth down. The kick by Bryant is good. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put mm -hmm. on the board. Bryant now, after hitting the field goal, gets set to kick this one away. Oh, my God. Man, you go to bat, too. And they'll make it across the 20. 
As his guys are set up shot. Yeah, TC go to bed. So you go to bed. Just wait. Let me finish up and let me make the bag real quick. Mommy. 
Yeah, my wife will. Yes, sir. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook what up. What do you think The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're talking 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Correct. Westbrook complete, and he slips up past the 35 before being tackled. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. Daddy, he's throwing all the flags. Fournette, a first down carry. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. And on the tackle, Devondre Campbell, Falcons leading tackler in 2018. That's a strong pickup Daddy. right there. First down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Leonard Fournette. And he's got this down to the 35. And the ref is trying to make it close. Down first down. Yeah, Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he goes back to the huddle, he better be giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to rumble. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and Daddy. 10. Daddy! A shotgun give to Fournette. Daddy! Yeah, this will be a game of five as he gets it to the 30. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. How is that job holding on to Jackson? What is happening? How is that not holding? The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. That one complete. He finds Shark. A gain there of 21 yards. And it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there. Yeah, again. We do. We see they have been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now. That says, Daddy. if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Running it with Armstead. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to pass for something better here on third and goal. From the three-yard line once more. Now here's third and goal. From the shotgun, here's Tom's. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points will be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And Rambo will bring this one through. 
and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-point drive. Cut mommy, give mommy a kiss. So you console yourself on defense. Please, Brad, give mommy a kiss. Right? If they go 13 yeah. points, you're going to give up a field goal. You did a nice job there, but here's the love you. 13 points. Yeah. Riley. Yeah. Riley. Riley. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. And he's up past the 20 yeah. to the 22-yard line. No pen. Look. Mommies. So I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you. I love you. so sweet. You're pretty, so. Mommy. Mm. Oh, my God. What? Give me a the Atlanta Mom offense me. out there for their last drive. And Mom last time they got three points, but it was a chip Mom shot field goal. And you know, you know, you know, after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act. Yeah. And a double coverage yeah. and it's intercepted. Yeah. Daddy! Off the field. Nice. And they are going to set up short. The only thing you want my head, Jalen. Daddy! When you're in the coverage, you don't go to the top. You become a much more confident defender. Trail the receiver and know that someone Riley. on the top can make a pull. That's exactly the pick, what yeah. The free safety coming up with the interception. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and ten. That was a bad pass, though. They'll start out on the ground as Leonard Ford. will take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Hey. Part of from our experience together, we have learned. The most offensive coordinators are going to tell no, you if I'm going to put the first down, you got to get at least four yards. No, five no, why do you want to put the I'm telling you. Boo-boo. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll be Marty. taken down across the 50 Marty. at the 45 at enemy time. Tell me, these refs, these refs are going like, to make this game a close game. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. And then if that was okay, they should have called it a safety because he needs to be downed it. Yes, ma'am. Give me a second. That was butter. On play action, it's Dobbs. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. They come up in an offset eye. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to punch it in with four down, and he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Leonard Fournette. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. I should, I, Belichick should have challenged that because now they have a damn back against him. Three. 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 And Lambeau now after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be taken in after one. And he'll get it up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25. First and ten. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Riley. Freeman. Mm -hmm. I kiss. Bobo 
almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for three yards. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you've got to give this guy serious consideration. I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing you know in this phase of part, right? The running back renaissance of the NFL, it's real. And it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. You gotta give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Freeman. Freeman, the first down and more. And he'll take it to the end zone. Touchdown and more. To Bronte Freeman. Touchdown for 22 of the season. No, 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 all out blitz, and this man still ran to the outside and got a touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back and forth first half. And ordinarily, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The yeah, I the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. The fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just tallying them up. Yeah. They're yeah. yeah. watching this game. Throwing on second and three. Dobbs. That's out to his running back for it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Completes it to Lee. And wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Even 30 yards there. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about the big plays. Let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what I can't miss was the fist pump from the sideline after that guess They're fired out. That's a big game. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.D. Westbrook, his fifth it's touchdown of the year. As his guys are able to regain the lead. Man, he just ran a terrific it's route. Extremely it's hard to defend. Plays right now precisely. And the ball's delivered that accurately. Extra point tacked on by Lambo. Yeah, the defense in the low room and the rest is kind of open. Yes, ma'am. And Lambo now after the touchdown. He'll kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad no, return. Okay. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Daddy. 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 The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throw it. Mariota sliding, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half. Hey, where's the hold on that? The guy held Gilmore. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Mariota. He's going to watch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. 
Well, partner, they're not going to take around this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Yeah, he's a ball. Third and long here for Julio. And it's incomplete. Both players had a shot at that one. Neither can get it. And it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Matt Foster on the punt. Back deep is DJ Chark. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Come on, defense, let's stop here. Yeah, I need to come to the line to start their next drive. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. Daddy. They like what they did in the first half. That looked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just oh, talked about, good change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more. Yeah. some things they didn't yeah. see in the first half. Yeah. We'll see if they yeah, need to break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Back to throw down. Daddy. And he'll get that to four and complete. Give him eight on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They'll try to run for it with Fournette, and he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lab has been power running. He decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't he? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Brady Jarrett make that now eight sacks for him on the season. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Throwing here, Dobbs. And that is incomplete. Jeez. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to hold that one in. Now Dobbs. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Well, that a 48-yard punt made even better by a loss on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. 
out set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they will, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. to the 29-yard line brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of oh, eight. Okay. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. You, you look how the game how the game comes on. season. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean it's really, really difficult. You have asked him a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. There's Mario. That'd be weird, Riley. Oops, sorry, it's baby. Off to Freeman. You okay? They'll get a couple yards on that one. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. <laughs> Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. They're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken around the 12. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. Around the NFL, they've gone to the third in Cleveland. The Browns, they have scored again to add on to their lead. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. This is Fournette. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. And that sends him two yards in the wrong direction. That leads to second down. The opening play of the drive goes back. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the gun, Dobbs. And he completes it to Westbrook. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and ten, Dobbs. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. 
A pass there complete to Westbrook. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 20-yard line. Dobbs now 6 for 6 and coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Fournette running right. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slow them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. And the ball situated at the nine, second and goal. They'll try the right side here with Fournette. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want to here without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one that was denied as he tried to get the second one. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Fournette. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out. But does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punch them deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs. And he's taken down. Trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. That's a fumble. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. After the sack here, second and 11. Mariota now. Complete. Smith has it. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. After the penalty, here's Freeman. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It's a oh, loss so of to be picking on the on. I don't I wouldn't mind that. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home the moves up fast this year in the second half. And I think they just gotta look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. Second and 15 now. Mariota. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Julio Jones, his Pro Bowl receiver. But now it'll be third down. 
Just work with me a second here because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. The Falcons on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and 15. Mariota to throw it. That's incomplete, what? but there is a oh flag God. down. So hang I'm on, dead. a big call coming on third down. Trying to defend the out route there. No, 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 no. I just had a third and something and playing somebody. And I could have had an easy sack. I missed a sack, and then he bombs it, and I get a pass interference. So now he gets an easy first down. Yeah, he's bobbled like four times. Here's first and ten. Here's Freeman, and an alley to run, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, good for a first down for the Falcons. Oh, oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, oh, gritty run, got behind his pads, pulled over a few people, and got right up the gut. Soft through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. We'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 18. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Now Freeman, he's been busy today. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. That's a good chance. The Falcons on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to run for the Smith. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. This is Freeman on first and ten. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year. Well, he's probably working. Yeah, he's probably working. Work, um, you know, right. He's he works like help play. He, he no works like in the group when he's having a class. Sometimes he can't be on his phone until late night. Right <laughs> Again, they'll run with Freeman. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. I'm mad that we're just giving him this touchdown. He should have been punting. Look at that three. Here on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Bryant tacks on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. This fielded at the two. Let's go. And an alley to run. The 40. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. That kick return TD is 98 yards in length. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. A big 
big-time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time. That, that, extra, still alive. Minute, that extra bounce you get from a special team. That's what still alive. Those are your friends. <laughs> <laughs> About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because with nowhere to escape and he goes down. Calais Campbell in there to get him and that is now sack number 18 on the season for him. at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Mario going up top. And that is going to be called in one-handed. Wow. Two minutes I'm left to play this football game here on EA Sports. Yeah. Basically, they just imply that she killed him right there in the end. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Now Mariota, he's going to let it fly. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So you hold everything it. here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's Julio Brown is cheap. Well, Julio Jones is cheap, coach, man. He just really caught two deep bones and Julio back to back. And hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll run it again with four down. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. looking good as they come up first and ten. Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. Yeah. 
Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So for the Jaguars, it's a big win here as they move to 11-4 and four now in the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, it's a bad time of year to take a loss like this as they drop to 10-5. And, and they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Uh -huh.